From creation to casting, from fabrication to finishing, here's where you learn about what some call the magical metal, platinum. Pure, rare, eternal, which means more durable, more precious. Whether you're in a large-scale jewelry production or work from a single bench, we're sure you'll find the information presented here to be useful and informative. Welcome to the Platinum Expert. Hi, I'm Jürgen Matz, Director of Technical Education for Platinum Guild International. We invite you to sit back and relax as I help you develop special skills to insight, facts, tips, and technical information to help you become the Platinum Expert. To begin, Jeff examines the stones and then measures them to determine the proportions of the ring. He then transfers the dimensions of the center stone to the platinum flat stock in order to create the upper gallery. You'll notice that this three stone ring is actually a variation of a basket design. This measuring and marking process is then repeated for the side stones. Using a saw and a three square file, Jeff scores the marked lines. This allows for precise bending and sharp corners. Due to the fact that this will be tapered assembly, the scores are made at an angle. The upper gallery wire is then formed by bending it at the scored points. Note that the pre-polished wire will save polishing time in the end. Utilizing his angled scores, Jeff then takes time to bend the gallery wire to conform with the shape of the stone. Jeff is able to do this due to Platinum's outstanding malleability. Jeff then incorporates a ring mandrel to form the gallery wire for the trillions. Carefully capturing the stone's dimensions, Jeff transfers the measurements to the wire. He then scores and bends the wire in the same manner as previously. Due to platinum's durability, it will not wear away with constant use. Jeff solders the upper gallery wires using 1700 solder. Using a file, Jeff sharpens the details of the upper gallery wires. Before soldering the three gallery wires together, Jeff draws a straight line across the bottom of a fused crystalline quartz crucible. This ensures proper alignment of the top assembly. Using 1700 solder, Jeff solders the assembly together. Utilizing a saw, a score line is made between the trillion and center stone assembly to ensure easy and uniform bending. The final assembly is then bent and formed at the score lines. Jeff then checks the stones for proper fit, angle, and placement. Using sheet stock, Jeff prepares to create the lower gallery. Jeff further forms the lower gallery. This lower gallery will be a smaller version of the top gallery. Bending a single wire into a 90 degree angle, Jeff attaches the upper and lower gallery assemblies and creates the outside prongs at the same time. Using a single wire, Jeff forms the two outer prongs for the side stones and solders them into place. This is then repeated for the opposite side. Did you know that platinum is the rarest of all precious metals? As a matter of fact, platinum is 30 times more rare than gold. The unique U-shape of the wires holds them into place. This makes it possible to solder all four prong wires at once. Because of platinum's low thermal conductivity, Jeff uses 1500 solder to assemble the top portion of the ring without fear of disassembly. Using the handpiece of the flex shaft as a lathe and a file as a sanding stick, Jeff tapers the prongs of the center stone. Using a tapered diamond cone burr, Jeff creates notches on the top of the ring for the center stone prongs. Using masking tape as a shield, the surface is protected from runaway burrs. Jeff then solders the center stone prongs in place. Jeff completes the top assembly by trimming the prongs. The shank is then formed with a rawhide mallet to avoid marring the finish. 
assuring accuracy and detail is standard for Jeffrey Matthews. It is important in the shank assembly that there are absolutely no gaps. This is accomplished with detailed filing. For a seamless appearance, Jeff uses 1700 welding solder to assemble the shank. After filing and sanding the shank, Jeff prepares to attach the top assembly. To ensure a dead flat surface, a piece of safety glass is used as a sanding base. Jeff, using a divider, applies guidelines in order to round the shank. Using a common sponge nail file, further rounding is accomplished with minimum steps. An abrasive foam pad achieves an even brighter finish. Jeff's finishing techniques save time over many traditional methods. Jeff prepares the shank to receive the upper assembly. Due to the incredible density of platinum, it is essential to lubricate saw blades and all tools. Jeff ensures proper alignment by grooving the end of the shank to match the top assembly. Beveled final touches give the shank a balanced appearance. The assembly is completed with soldering. Add a few stones and a little polish and we have a Jeff Matthews masterpiece. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show and improved your knowledge of platinum. You'll find more information in our next program. Also, please visit our website for additional technical information and videos filled with insight, facts, tips and techniques, all to help you become the platinum expert. For the Platinum Expert and Platinum Guild International, I'm Jürgen Metz, reminding you that platinum is not difficult, it is just different. <laughs>